Hey guys, it's Tiny Bryson here, and today I'm gonna tell you exactly how do you go out there and start your own gas station, and why would you actually want to step by step, okay? And although you might say, Tommy, a gas station, just like pumping gas, makes no sense. The answer is, if you have a gas station, there are around five different ways, or six different ways to actually go ahead and make income just from one business, basically, a gas station is just a front. There's a lot more different ways within the gas station to actually make a ton of money. And that is what we're gonna talk about today in this video. And by the way, guys, it's usually those boring businesses you don't know you can actually get into that in reality can make you a ton of money. For example, gas stations, cleaning up trash, and on top of that, having an ATM business can actually make you a ton of money. And by the way, last year, I made a video that got over a million views on how to start an ATM business. And usually, people say, hey, I didn't even know I can go ahead and start an ATM business without needing to be a millionaire. And by the way, you don't need to be a millionaire to go ahead and open up a gas station either. And that's the cool thing right here about this video. And by the way, guys, if you guys are new here, I post videos every single day. So you should also subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified on top of that. Also, destroy the like button. Now, the first thing is this, guys, okay? Before I tell you exactly how to actually buy a gas station, how much will it cost, and also the profits and how to make money, I wanna give you guys an example. That way you know exactly that it's possible to go out there and become a millionaire or a billionaire just by going out there and starting out with one gas station and going on and on and on. Now this right here, guys, this guy right here, his name is Harry, okay? Now Harry right here came from India with $50 in his pocket, okay? And he started out as a taxi driver, then a mechanic, then open up a gas station, and before he knew it, 25 years later, today, Harry is actually a billionaire. Now, although this is a great story, the point of it is basically to tell you, hey, it doesn't matter who you are, where you come from, if you're college educated, if you're not from America, all that stuff, okay? The answer is, if you have the will and you have knowledge, you can go out there and get a lot of money, especially with a gas station, okay? And by the way, you might say, for example, Tommy, I get it, but gas stations with electric cars coming out, in reality, they're going to be obsolete. But if you guys never noticed this, you know, gas stations don't make money by selling you gas. They make money by getting you in the door and then offering you other services. So in reality, the gas station, the actual gas, that's just a front for the actual business, which we will break down in this video right here. And by the way, guys, I recommend you go out there and find out more about Harry. That way you know exactly what he did how to copy it and go out and do the exact same thing. And that way you get the same results that he actually got himself, okay? Now, the first thing is this, okay? Tell me what is the cost of actually buying a gas station, okay? And how exactly do I do it? Well, there are three ways to go out there and own a gas station. The first one is basically you buy one from someone else. Second is basically you get a franchise. The third one is basically you build one. Now, to be honest with you guys, franchise, and building a gas station is probably gonna be the most expensive way to actually go ahead and own a gas station. But for example, if you buy one from someone that already has it, well, that is the cheapest way to actually own one. And that way, you get to own it without worrying about, hey, I have this land I gotta buy now, or at least I have to build the whole gas station, the whole trade route, and all this extra stuff, because basically, that is going to be very expensive. Or for example, I wanna get a 7-Eleven gas station, but basically, I have to pay 20K or 100K just to get in the door with the entire franchise. But if you just go out there and buy a gas station, it's a lot cheaper and easier to actually get into it, okay? And that way, you don't have to build anything or follow anybody's rules, okay? That way, you own it yourself. Now, how much exactly is it going to cost you to go out there and actually buy a gas station? And by the way, I guarantee you're going to be surprised here, okay? Because basically, here it is, guys, okay? If you go to Biz Buy Sell and you click gas stations, basically, you can buy businesses right here. The answer is a gas station can range from $10,000 all the way up to 2 million, all the way up to a lot more money. But usually in New York, it's around 100K to 500K. And the cost, the price of it, is going to be based on three things. And those three things are basically, Location, location, location. If it's busy, a good area, a lot of traffic, usually it's going to cost you a lot more money. And also, say for example, you wanna buy this one right here, that's 180K, 
This one is $5.90, but it also has a very fancy convenience store that brings in a ton of profits. And then this one right here is around 900 k but again, this one also has a car wash. So it all depends on what the gas station comes with because basically, you're not selling gas, you're selling other services, and that is what you want to get into. But tell me, how the heck am I supposed to afford 10k or 100k or for example even 900k the answer is there are three ways number one you save up the money and then buy it for cash if you want to or you get good credit you build a history good relationships and then go out there and get a loan from a bank or for example you ask the owner that already owns it hey i want to buy it can you offer me seller finance that way you put down a down payment and you pay the owner off in like 10 years or five years and that way you're pretty good to go okay and by the way the one that comes with the entire car wash well that one is actually offering owner financing okay now there is one question i want to answer here which basically tell me if this business model is so great why would someone want to sell it okay the answer is a three-part answer the first part is basically well 59% of gas stations are owned by one person and also operated by that same person, okay? So for example, I go ahead, Tommy, I buy a gas station and I work there for the next 10 to 20 to 25 years. The answer is sometimes after a while, you no longer wanna work there. And not everyone wants to go out there and buy one, then the other one, then the other one, because basically not everyone is as business savvy as you probably are. So usually it might be that, hey, I'm tired of this business. I wanna sell it. I no longer care about the profits, okay? On top of that, number two, there's always the fact that basically they might be trying to scam you. So for example, hey, this gas station is great, so great, but I wanna sell it, but basically, once you buy, you find out basically, hey, there's not a lot of traffic, gas station sucks, and there's nothing good about it whatsoever. Or number three, basically, hey, I have this good gas station, but I'm also tight for money, because of something else I actually did. And that way, you get to buy for a discount, you solve a problem for that person, and you actually own a gas station for a very good price and a very good deal. So again, between 10,000 to 100K to 500K to 2 million, depending on exactly where you're actually gonna go ahead and buy this gas station. Again, New York, very expensive. Other states, less expensive. It all depends also where you actually are. But by the way, again, you don't need as much money as you think you actually do. Now, the second thing I want to break down before I tell you guys about the profits is basically tell me how much is going to cost me to actually operate this gas station. Okay. And by the way, guys, please, 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 if you go ahead and buy a gas station, do not buy a job. Okay. Basically, you buy the gas station and now you work there 24 7. That's not what you want. That's you buying a job. The whole goal is basically I buy one, I buy a second one a third one, a fourth one, a fifth one, and before you know it, you have your own empire of gas stations, okay? And you might think, hey, gas station is not cool, but the answer is you can make a ton of money. So just wait until we get into the profits, okay? And that's when it's going to surprise you. But overall, okay, the cost to operate a gas station, obviously, number one is, hey, you need employees, okay? Either 1099 or W2 employees, or basically, they work there on your schedule or their schedule, the answer is you need employees. But I do recommend before you go out there and buy a gas station, make sure you get hired by a gas station. You work there for around six to 12 months. That way you know the business. And once you own your gas station, well, work there for six to eight months also. That way you get to learn your whole entire area of your gas station. You know exactly what works, what doesn't work. And that way you don't get scammed by employees. Because basically, if I know my gas station, what it takes, what it brings in the business, well, no one can go ahead and scam me. Don't buy something that you know nothing about. Usually, a very bad idea. But also, on top of that, you also have, for example, legal costs, insurance premiums, on top of that, also state permits, also inventory, maintenance, and so on and so on when it comes to actually owning a gas station. But usually, when you buy a gas station, all those permits get transferred to you, and that way you don't have to go out there and get new permits and pay extra money. Usually, that is what happens. And yes, obviously, um, gas is a part of your inventory, and to get gas, usually, you have to sign a contract with a supplier. You supply you with gas, you make some extra money. Yes, but again, okay, a gas station is not going to make you all the money from the gas, because basically, that is just the front and you want people to go inside the gas station and then go ahead and offer them the service. That way you get paid a lot more money. Now, the third part, guys, is basically my favorite part, which is basically, Tommy, 
the profits. How much money can this business right here actually make me? The answer is again, the gas station is just a front, but there are around five to six different ways to actually go out there and make money with a gas station, okay? And you can actually make a ton of money. The first way obviously is the gas, okay? But the margins are very slim, so you're not gonna make a lot of money from giving people gas, okay? That's the first step. But the second way is basically, if you have a convenience store, you sell coffee, snacks, sandwiches, sodas, soft drinks, all that stuff in reality, that can gross you around $50,000 every single month, 50K in revenue. And again, this depends largely on the location and the traffic that comes into your store every single day, okay? So keep that in mind. Now, on top of that, let's say for example, you also have a car wash, right? The answer is this guy right here, that's selling this one right here. Well, he says that he has around gross revenue around 800 thousand dollars coming in from this car wash every single year again is that the norm the answer is no you might be between 100k to 200k or 500k or even potentially a million dollars but the answer is the average might be around 100k every single year from that car wash so overall you can make a lot of money from having a car wash in your entire gas station again the gas station the actual gas is just a front but grocery store and the car wash right there you're talking about almost a million dollars just in revenue if everything goes well. But usually it won't. I'm being honest here. You have to build things up step by step, build customer loyalty, and so on and so on and so on. But also, that's not the only way to make money from a gas station, okay? Because also, if you want to, you can actually become a mechanic and have a whole mechanic area right there to repair like cars in your whole gas station. But also, if you don't want to go out there and become a mechanic, what you can do is basically build the space and rent it out to a mechanic and then have them on the lease. And that way he pays you money to have that entire shop right there. And that way you basically get rent from the mechanic, but you're not actually doing any mechanic work either, which is pretty cool, right? Now, lastly guys here, if you wanna take this to the big leagues and take it to the whole next level here, like Harry did, the answer is you can actually build your own gas route, your own oil route. So basically, you go ahead and start supplying other gas stations with gas, and that way you get to make a ton of money when it comes to profits. But overall guys, okay, the idea is this, if you go out there and buy a gas station, the most important part is going to be the location the foot traffic, and if you have, for example, also a convenience store or a car wash or any other way to actually make money. Again, the gas station itself is just a front, okay? That's not going to make a lot of money, but the car wash, the convenience store, also maybe like the mechanical shop, that is going to make you a ton of money, and that is where the bulk of the money actually comes from, okay? But overall, guys, I do wanna say one last thing here, guys, okay? If you guys notice here, okay, the gas, again, the last time here, is not what's going to make you money. So for example, if in 20 years, we don't have gases anymore, and just like electric stations, the answer is, it does not matter because basically we never made money from gas. We only made money from convenience stores, car washes, and also for example, mechanical shops, okay? So basically, whether you have electric stations or gas stations in the future, it does not matter. You will still get to make a ton of money, okay? But guys, overall, thanks for watching. And as always, like if you're here, well, like this video on top of that. Also, subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified. And if you wanna text me or talk to me, Talk about Patreon, link down below, or send me a DM on Instagram at Tommy Bryson. And on top of that, if you want to watch the video on how to start an ATM business, watch the video right here, and also click my Patreon now. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and as always, peace.